What a beautiful morning. Six, two, five, seven. Good morning and a happy new year. Now, today's video is something slightly different. We've been going back through our archives. So this video is actually from a couple of years ago and it is a mix of hoof trimming and just a few things of what we were up to around that time. It's gonna be quite incredible how things have changed from then to now. So it felt like the perfect video to bring you as we head in to 2026. Hope everyone had a good Christmas and we're gonna bring you some very exciting things in 2026. So make sure that subscribe button is smashed because we have some big, big things to bring to you guys. So let's jump in and take a look at what was happening back then. Let's go. Good morning. We're about to start our day with a little bit of Pemberton Farm Shop milk. Ooh. I need to get moving. Hey, Mama T. I'll chat to you guys when we get up the yard. See you there. So it is Tuesday morning and we are in the yard. <laughs> Let's get into this trim and talk you guys through the sole ulcer on this cow. Now it was slightly out of shape, so we needed to take a little bit of length off and just balance this hoof a little bit better. Now she hadn't been trimmed for about eight months, which means she missed one of her trims. And they're normally done twice a year. And that is why we're getting this issue. So sole ulcers are very easy to treat. All we need to do is routine trim. Routine trim me cows enough, we won't get these issues but there's nothing we do about that now. So we're gonna block her. We are gonna put a big wood shoe. We're gonna lift that hoof right up off the floor. We're gonna wrap it with salicylic acid, a little bit of iodine, and off she'll go out to the field. So that is all we need to do for this girl, but it could have been completely prevented if we routine trimmed her. Nowhere near close, put it that way. No, 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 no. That's the issue. I will wrap it. She's walking out lovely, to be fair. These girls are going straight out to the field. As we are doing a bit of a vlog, we should probably tell you a little bit more about what we're doing in other day to day life, but actually. We get married in 10 days from now. So I'm off to collect suits. Exciting, a bit nervy, but mainly exciting. Um, yeah. Good morning. Right, so we are in the yard. It is about 4.15 on a Wednesday. Today, we do another farm after this, so we get to this farm about four, about five, five fifteen, and our next farm we get to as soon as we can. So that being said, I am gonna go pick Will up, and we will see you on the farm. What a beautiful morning! Six two five seven. The majority of all our work is trimming just like this. Will does the fronts, I do the backs, and this is how our day went. We treated one cow for a block in the end, and we wrapped eight or nine, I think. So overall, good day. At some point, this cow has had a bad necrotic toe. Have a look at it now. They brought in a little group of cows, and a few of them seem to have issues, but I'm quite impressed with that. Three to four months, she's all healed up. So we now just make note of 
cows that need jabbing so they can jab them. If they've got bruising, cows have been wrapped so they know what wrap to remove and what foot they need to take the wrap off. So let's write this note down. Will was washing off. We're going to pack up and we're going to get to farm number two. We'll see you there. So we are now at set up on the second farm. We've got 25, 30 to do. Let's see what we find. Let's get into this trim. So she was looking like she was going to have some sort of soul ulcer within their typical soul ulcer site. Now again, we are on a farm with very, very low lameness. So we don't see many issues. We see a little bit of bruising. Again, with cows that just slip through like we had yesterday. But as you can see, this is starting to run to be what looks like it could be a fairly big soul ulcer. So we're going to trim away on this super hard foot. The hooves here are like concrete so it is not the easiest to trim you can see there's actually a fracture in here so we're going to drop that height down because it is much easier with the grinder we're going to clean up this hoof so we can stick on a block and we're going to see if we can make this girl feel that little bit more comfortable as we can already see the exposed corium starting to come through while we're trimming it That is set already, that glue. I don't know, I thought they were a lot softer than they have been. All good. She was drifting, she was gathered. We have finished. We've done 56 on one farm and 25 on another. It is 10 to 11, so we've done pretty well to do two farms. We'll catch you in the morning coffee before i leave and i will get on the road and we will see you guys on the farm so i'm on my way to the farm we have a pretty big day today it's one of the more challenging setups we go to there are some big very high yielding cows and yeah they are a little bit of a challenge to get through the machine so we're gonna set up some cameras show you guys exactly what we get up to we have some interesting feet to show you today This was a savage digital dermatitis that worked its way slightly down the white line and that is why we're blocking it. So we could have probably wrapped it, tried to kill the dermatitis and hope that it gives her a release of the pain. But we thought we'll block her, get that weight off it. We're going to wrap her with Intricare green paste. We're going to send her on her way and hopefully we can get her walking a little bit better. And that is exactly what happened. So stay tuned, watch till the end and you are going to see this go walk out of this shoot looking much better we are now going to paint on after we've dried this hoof and made sure it's nice and clean and obviously dry we're going to paint on our inch care paste we're going to wrap it we're going to put a few cotton wool buds in there just to help it as they are going out through a little bit of water because of where we've left the hose but fingers crossed this will kill that dermatitis and make her feel much much better well what a savage did you She can bloody walk on that foot before she came in. I wish I filmed her coming in, really. Ooh, now that was a good trim. That was a bad, bad digi. Let's go on to the next cow. So we basically have to drive all these cows down this race right here. Come on, darling. And cows are herd animals, so 
when one goes, normally they'll all follow. Head most of the way up, normally. Sometimes if they feel like being a bit of a challenge, then they make things a little bit more difficult, but most of the time. They go just like that. Yeah. Friday and we are starting Friday off with something a little bit different. Where are we going? Nursery. And whose car are you in today? Is Daddy taking you to nursery? Daddy doesn't want me to take him to nursery. Right. Should we go? We'll see you guys on the farm. Smell this. My knives are very, very blunt. These cows' feet are just rock hard. Grumpy mama, this one. So we are actually just spraying her hoof with iodine rather than wrapping because the farmer here struggles to get bandages off front feet. So rather than them, we risk them not being able to be taken off, I would rather just spray it with iodine. She's pretty good, there isn't really much in there. I thought it was going to be quite bad. There was pass already running out when I started and then went to nothing, which is good. We've done about 13 or 14 cows. I don't think there's many left to do. She's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go load back up behind me and carry on trimming. Right, so that is a wrap for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed a little look back on what we got up to a few years ago. It's always cool seeing what's changed, crushes, machinery, knives, gear, but do you know what always stays the same? The way we trim our cows, so that never really changes. I can't see it changing for this year to come. As we head into the new year, we have plenty more to come to for you guys. We've still got our house tour. We've got something very, very exciting coming up glue-wise, which we will be bringing you, oh, it's dark, over the next, hopefully, month or so. Sorry, I'm just showing me garage. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button because I promise you, we have so much exciting stuff coming up for you guys in 2026. May have a new crush come in. Who knows? Try and have a guess, see what crush we might be doing. May start using a different colored glue. So drop a comment and let us know what color you think that's gonna be. But I need to get to work. It is, what is it, the 22nd? 22nd, we're trimming tomorrow possibly cr trimming Christmas Eve and then we'll probably have Christmas Day and Boxing Day off and then back to it the following week so when you guys are watching this I will probably be trimming but thank you guys for watching thank you for giving me my biggest year so far on YouTube we'll see you guys in 2026 let's go